What's going on guys? You read the title. Today is a new Steven Universe theory of who really shattered Pink Diamond. Now, I'm going to show you the clues to this and then I'm going to get into the rest of it. <clears throat> Excuse the cold. I might, I'm having going through my little... I got my flu shot so I'm getting through that. But anyway, okay. During the episode of Bismuth, during the altercation between Bismuth and Steven... Steve Bismuth throughout the entire episode brought up Rose and how she thought Steven was Rose and all that goofy stuff. But here's the here's the good part. While talk while during their fight, Bismuth had definitely spoken about having some having some pure reason for getting put away. Now, although Bismuth never touched on exactly why Rose put her away, but it's is a lot to it than that. Now, it's said to believe that, well, even Business said that she showed Rose the breaking point, but she told her to put it away after something happened, which, if you watch the episode of Business, that's exactly what it was. So in this particular case, that raises the eyebrow to say, okay, Rose, on one hand, told you to use it because she doesn't know what it is and it could help them in the war, and then turn around, she Bismuth uses it, and then it becomes a, a very big problem that re that results in her and Bismuth having a fight, and then her resulting in you know having a bubble Bismuth. But that's just one part of it. That's not the whole thing, though. the The second part is this: apart from hearing about Rose from Bismuth, later down the line, we all we all found out a much darker side of Rose Quartz. We found out that Rose Quartz, according to the Ruby, the Ruby Squadron, had shattered Pink Diamond. Now, a lot of you have already been saying that Rose is Pink Diamond, or Rose and Pink Diamond fused or whatever. But that's not entirely true, because if that were the case, Steven would have two gems on him. Now, we all know that. If Steven was a two gem, was two, had two gems, we'd see it. We'd see it, okay? But anyway... Having here from those from that big plot twist, and aside from hearing business speak so so happily and yet so angrily about Rose Quartz, this makes you believe the question: Who shattered Pink Diamond, really? But that's why I'm coming in on this one. Now, here's what I'm going to explain. This is the instance of where it took place back during that five thousand year war or whatever the fuck. Okay. Bismuth was said to have been bubbled for about 5,000 years, okay? Now, that part we already know. But check this out, though. Rose could have easily decided, could have, I mean, not easily decided, could have been dealing with other, other, what, other problems during the war, and probably, and probably asked Bismuth to watch over certain objects or whatever, watch over the base, or watch over the younger ones. Or, I don't know, you know, honestly. But I know that she that we've already seen that Bismuth can go blow for blow with Garnet, and I do mean blow for blow. Even the fact that Bismuth is not even a fusion, the fact that she can go hand to hand combat with Garnet, and Garnet is a fusion. Okay, let's be realistic here. Bismuth is a fucking powerhouse, and the blacksmith of the group. Yeah, yeah. Bismuth ain't nothing to be fucking played with. We all know that. But anyway, basically what I'm saying, this could be, it could be that tensions were rising between Bismuth and Rose during the war, and then Bismuth decided that she wanted to go underground, which you can see in the episode Bismuth, that she went underground and built a whole arsenal of weapons that Rose only found out about until at the near end of where Bismuth was in the series to that point in time. That's what I'm saying, but peep this though. 
the instance of where Bismuth and Rose, the, con the controversy between Rose and Bismuth comes in is this. It is possible that Bismuth decided that the war needed to end and that she probably lost a very close gem friend of hers and decided that this needed to stop. So she probably not only, hear me now, the common trait among all gems is that they can shapeshift. It is possible that Bismuth not only shapeshifted into Rose Quartz, took her sword or the breaking point, went to Pink Diamond's headquarters, and shattered her. That right there is the main thing right there. That's the key switch right there. Now, everybody thinks that there's a whole bunch of other shit about who killed Pink Diamond, who shattered Pink Diamond, but y'all don't want to factor in this. Bismuth is probably the one that did it. And look, and here, here's how the rest of it went. After shattering Pink Diamond, or whatever, or shattering or destroying her physical form and then cracking her gem, or whatever, Rose probably found Bismuth, in her little, her little blacksmith quarters, and she confronted her, told her that what you were doing was wrong, and that she needed to stop. And this resulted in the final battle between her and Rose. And then it ended up, just like with Steven, it ended up Bismuth being bubbled for 5,000 years. Now, unlike Steven, Steven told Bismuth that, she, that he would let everyone know what she did and who she was. And of course, with Bismuth's last words, you are better than her. Which means that right after bubbling Bismuth, nobody asked about Bismuth. Either nobody asked about Bismuth or that she probably told everyone, or Rose told everyone that she got, she got destroyed on, on the battlefield. Which is probably the biggest turning point if this is ever confirmed, which I doubt this is actually the truth. But hey, you always gotta keep your imaginations going, but I'm just saying, think of it like this. Everybody's got a start and a finish. Bismuth is that exception. Bismuth is not is not intrigued, is not happy with everything that has happened to her thus far. And for the fact that, like most of the gems in the series, see Steven as Rose. I can I'm gonna make another video about that, but I'm not gonna get into that. This just means Steven's gonna have a lot more to deal with than than just putting up with. The darker side of his mother being brought out or the the largest the largest set of controversy that is believed to be now like i said here are the facts that lead to this bismuth talked bismuth had a lot of bad things to say about rose but a lot of good things to say about rose mostly due to the fact that she refused to give her army special weapons to destroy the diamonds which later caused her to be bubbled and defeated the second one is is Eyeball Ruby, who said that she saw Pink Diamond shatter, I mean, sh Rose Quartz shatter Pink Diamond. Now, aside from what, um, from, aside from that, like I just said, I'm gonna break it down like this. Bismuth lost a friend during the war. She went crazy and decided to build the breaking point. Or she probably took Rose's sword and went on to... <clears throat> Pink Diamond's headquarters to go and face her herself. In the process, now we already have seen how strong a business really is. This wouldn't be anything new. But check this out though. Doing that, she fought, she fought a lot of her, she fought a lot of her, of her enemy gems. She beat them and then went straight for Pink Diamond and shattered her. It's pop, it doesn't, it's, I don't know what, I, I don't, I think she probably used the breaking point. Or she probably used Rose's sword, which Bismuth confirmed can destroy the physical form of any gem. And probably destroy Pink Diamond's gem right then and there. That's how I see it. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed my theory on who really shattered Pink Diamond. If you like this, subscribe, comment, and follow me in the links below. I'll see you guys next time.